Have you ever wondered what it was really like inside the Roman Colosseum? Forget what you've seen in the movies. The reality was even more incredible and, frankly, a bit mind-boggling. Let's take a look behind the scenes of this ancient wonder. First, let's talk about the sheer scale. The Colosseum could hold up to 80,000 spectators. That's more than most modern stadiums. Sp the seating was strictly organized by social class. The emperor and senators got the best seats right near the action, while the common people and women were seated higher up. But no matter where you sat, the design ensured everyone had a clear view. Now, for the main event, the arena floor. It wasn't just a simple field of sand. It was a wooden platform covered in sand the word arena. Actually means sand in Latin, which was great for soaking up blood. But the real magic was what lay beneath it. Underneath the arena floor was the hypogeum, a complex two-story network of tunnels, cages, and elevators. Think of it as the backstage of a massive, deadly theatrical production, dear. This is where gladiators waited for their turn to fight, and where wild animals like lions, bears, and crocodiles were kept in cages. So how did they get these fighters and animals into the arena? Through a series of ingenious manual elevators and trap doors. Imagine being a spectator, watching a fight, and then suddenly, a lion appears as if from nowhere, lifted from the depths below. It must have been an absolutely stunning and terrifying sight. The Romans were masters of spectacle, and the hypogeum was their greatest trick. And what about those epic naval battles you might have heard about? Yes, they actually flooded the Colosseum for mock sea fights, called now early in its history, before the hypogeum was built. The arena could be filled with water through a complex system of aqueducts and drains, turning the entire space into a giant basin for ship-to-ship -ship combat. From its intricate underground systems to its massive crowd capacity, the Colosseum was a marvel of Roman engineering and a testament to their love for grand entertainment. It was more than just a stadium. It was a highly sophisticated machine built for spectacle. Thanks for joining me on this look inside the Colosseum. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more dives into history. See you next time.